Hi, this is the final presentation for my Google Summer of Code 2017 project Beagle Boot. I have developed the project into two parts. First one is a Node.js bootloader server running over USB for Beagle Boon board platform. This bootloader server serves various requests made by the board and transfers bootloader. Here I use it specifically to transfer bootloader configured for USB mass storage. When this bootloader runs in the board, it boots the board into mass storage device over USB. It currently works on Linux and macOS platforms. For Windows support, I could not work out a way to transfer U-Boot, as Windows sets USB configuration 1 for SPL device by default and we require configuration 2 for U-Boot transfer. Here is the repository for the bootloader server. The server can be used standalone or it can be integrated into other projects using the APIs. Now I will show you how to use it standalone. First clone the repository, then cd into it and install the dependencies. Then we will start the server by running script start. The board is connected through USB by holding down the S2 switch. Now the server serves the requests and the bootloader gets transferred. Now the board has booted into USB master storage mode. Here we can see the file system. Second one is a GUI based flashing app for BeagleBone board. It is developed using Electron framework. I integrated the bootloader server in this app to boot the board in USB mass storage mode. Once the device EMC is exposed as a mass storage device to host, flashing is performed on it. App is supported on Linux and macOS currently. I have developed this app to work on all three major platforms including Windows. So for Windows support, we just need to update the bootloader server module. The installers for the supported platforms can be downloaded from the repository here. Here we can see the macOS installer, then the Linux installers for Red Hat and then Debian and Ubuntu. Now let's see the app in action. First I click the USB mass storage button, then enter the password. It will run the bootloader server. Then we'll connect the board by holding down the S2 switch. Now the server serves the request to the board and transfers the bootloader. The bootloader gets transferred and the board gets mounted as a USB master device. Now we'll select the image for flashing. Now I'll click the flash button. The flashing should now start. It will likely take at least half an hour for the flashing to complete. Let me fast forward the video. I have put link to the repositories down in the description. I plan to work further on this project and bring Windows support to the app. I'll be adding more features to the app like automatic updates and booting custom bootloaders or RAM disk image distro. So this summarizes my project and the flashing is going to be complete now. It's complete now. Thanks a lot for watching the video.